I've eaten my fair share of beetroot out of a can and I've got to say, I do like it, but I prefer it when it's roasted. So I've dug up these beautiful beetroots out of my garden and I'm going to do them with my beef roast today. I've never actually done the combination I'm going to do here, so I guess we'll see how it turns out. I think today I'll do my beetroots with some nice red onions and a bit of orange. So I'm just going to make a nice sort of sweet citrusy balsamic dressing for this with my very pink hands. going to toss the beetroot and the onion through that and sprinkle a little bit of fresh thyme on top. So I'm going to put that into the oven at 180 degrees and I'll see how long it takes to cook. For my beef roast I'm just going to make a really simple marinade with some chilli powder, coriander and cumin seed all ground up, some mustard and some garlic. I'm just going to turn that into a paste and spread it over the beef. This is the thick end of an eye fillet. It's not the cheapest cut of meat in the world, but it's really, really good. I'm going to give it a nice massage. So I've rubbed that marinade all over the beef and I'm going to sear it off quickly in the pan just to seal in all the juices and then roast it in the oven. So I've sealed that and browned it up on all sides. I'm going to pop that into the oven with the beetroot. So that's made the whole house smell beautiful and I reckon that's just about ready. I need to rest it, so I'm going to put it onto a board out of the hot pan and let it rest and that allows it all to relax and be really beautifully tender. All the juices from the beetroot and the orange juice and the sugar have all reduced down into this lovely like syrup. I'm just going to throw through a bit of fresh parsley to give it a little bit of vibrancy. Some sea salt flakes and some ground pepper. Finish it off with a drizzle of olive oil. And that's absolutely divine. That'll be a beautiful accompaniment to the beef. As far as experiments go, this one's turned out pretty well. It was about an hour in the oven and it smells great and it tastes great. And I can't wait to sit down with the boys and eat it. This recipe, the beef recipe, there's a version of that in my new cookbook, The Heart of the Home, along with a bunch of other family favourites. <laughs>